I'm gonna show you how to get glass hair in style curtain bangs at home. Some people think I was born with nice hair, but it's actually all in the styling and hair care. For reference, this is my natural hair texture and I used to think it was impossible to make it look nice without going to the salon. But I finally found something that works, especially if you have frizzy hair. Before I get into the tutorial, I wanna show you what I use in the shower first because I feel like products really, really help your hair. Different products can help you achieve different goals. So I wanna show you what I use. So first of all, I use this shampoo and conditioner. This is the Pure hydrate shampoo you can see that it's literally almost gone it's busted up because I used literally all of it already once I started using this I just saw how much more alive my hair looks instead of being dull so yes I use this for shampoo this for conditioner it's specific for dry hair for colored hair and it just keeps your hair vibrant. I need to restock. I also have naturally wavy hair. Uh, we could talk about that in another day because I use a bunch of different products to achieve the different hair results that I want. But in general, these are really, really good, both for wavy hair and for blow drying hair. Second, I use another conditioner to layer in with this. This is Subaki Premium intensive repair conditioner treatment. I actually got this when I was in Japan and this has been an amazing conditioner treatment, especially if you wanna do a blow dry hair like this. So to make it more simple, shampoo, then I go in with this and this. I let it sit on my hair for about 10 to 15 minutes wash it out, and then you get the smoothest hair ever. But let's get into styling now and how to achieve this type of look. So this is my natural hair. I didn't do anything with it at all. I just showered and let it air dry. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to show you the ultimate blowout routine to get it from frizzy like this to get it super smooth. First, I'm just going to re-wet my hair just a little bit. I like to have it a little bit wet just because whenever I put products on, I feel like it absorbs a lot better that way. Whenever my hair is dry and I put products on my hair, it will literally just sit on top of it. So I feel like I need a little bit of water for it to absorb in. Second, I am going to go in with my very lightweight leave-in. I use the Kenra Hydrating Leave-In. It's honestly so amazing. I think I just sprayed the camera. It makes my hair so soft and it's so lightweight that like it doesn't feel like anything. Pressing it in so it can absorb. Next, I'm going in with this hair serum right here. It's semi dulino crystally liquidy. I'm just going to link it in the description. This is amazing. I actually learned it from my hairdresser. Um, just two pumps. What this serum does is it's anti-humidity, so it keeps your hair really laid down even if it's humid outside. And it also has a little bit of heat protectant. It smoothens your hair, so it does a little bit of everything. Maybe I think the mailman is outside or something. Wait, it started raining, so my lighting has changed a little bit. For styling, I think there are a lot, a lot of good hair tools to use. But for me, I've been using my Dyson a lot lately just because it's a lot easier to use. It has less heat, so it doesn't damage your hair as much. And then these bristles right here, they're very strong and they're very dense too. So it can get into my hair and really smoothen it out. But if you don't have this, no worries. There are a lot of hair tools out there. You could also use a round brush like this with this attachment. This is called a concentrator tool. So you would just plug this in right here and then you'll go and do it like this. To give you an example of how to use the round brush, I'm going straight down but then rolling inwards at the bottom of my hair for a curl. The concentrator is right on top and following the brush so it can smoothen it out. It's easier said than done but it just takes a little bit of practice. With my Dyson, I start at the root and also roll my hair around the brush while also moving downwards. Once I get to the bottom, I roll it back up and then softly unwind so I can get a curl. You can see how very gently I'm unwinding here. I also use my fingers to really define that curl. I'm also going to do this on the other side. A lot of people think it takes forever because we are parting my hair, but it actually only takes about 30 minutes, especially if I'm filming. If I'm not filming or anything like that, it probably takes probably 20 minutes. But I think just giving yourself a little bit of time and styling your hair into something that you really, really love could help you feel a lot more confident and just putting your best foot forward. I'm muting here while I style because we're going to repeat the same thing, but I want to give a quick review about Dyson. The number one question people usually ask me is, is the Dyson worth it? So here's my honest review. My fiance bought it for me in 2020 during Christmas and not to be dramatic, but it was life changing for me. I used to not have a good relationship with my hair and having this tool helped me style it like the salon. It helped me feel more confident when I was able to style my hair in the way that I like it. I've also done some girl math and the average salon blowout in my area is about $60 without tips. 
but to make this easy, let's say it's $70 with tip. I use my Dyson at least once every week, so that's four times a month. Four times 12 is 48 times a year. And I've had this for four years, so 48 times four equals 192 times where I've used it. If I compared this to a salon blowout, this would have costed me $13,440. A Dyson costs around $600, so when I compare the two, it's a huge saving and very worth it. But back to hair styling now. Okay, so here's the tricky part to do the back of your head. I grab a piece of hair just like this. I'm holding my styler in the exact same way and I'm kind of just twisting my head in the back and then going like this. You might have to bring it your hair to the front like this, but then that's how I do the back. We're just going to keep sectioning this off. I'll probably fast forward this part and then get back to you when we're at my like bangs. I'm speeding this up, but I want you guys to see how I'm styling it away from my face. This helps open up my face while also giving it volume. Just to let you guys know, the sun is coming back out, so the lighting is changing again. Now we can finally get to the bangs. I usually just get like the whole top part of my head. So you have this whole like what top part. It's almost like a V kind of, but that's too much hair. So I'm just going to split it up in half, right? Keep this right here. Now I'm just blow drying the back part towards the back for more volume. Now onto my bangs, I like to go towards the front and then the back. This helps smooth out the texture of my hair. I'm not going to delete any of the clips so you can see that I do a couple of passes. You see how the bangs are kind of facing in right now? If you want it to face more outwards, you could take this. I want my bangs to go outwards so I part it in the middle. The left side is going to the left but notice how my hair is in front of the brush. I roll it downwards and away from my face. Do the same for the right side and go away from your face. It should end up looking something like this your hair will look like this you could just run your fingers through your hair to make it a little bit more messy and bouncy but now i have a little bit of hairspray because you see a little bit of the um what's it called the hair that sticks up i put it just a little bit on my fingers like this and then i kind of pat it down just like that and now i'm just going to spray a little bit far away so that this hair can last for multiple days to make your hair last even longer, you can try to move your hair away at night so you don't lay directly on it. Another option is to wear a bonnet. Just put all of your hair in there and this protects your hair from rubbing on your pillow. If you have a silk pillowcase, I think that works too. You want to add just a little bit of extra something. Again, go in with this. Just literally one pump. One pump, okay? Mix it around your hand and don't put it on um, the roots. Put it on like the bottom of your hair. And I like to go in right here because this part of my hair is really poofy. And I like to keep it down just so it can um, frame my face a little bit better. When it's too rounded out here, I feel like it takes away from my face and like the attention is too much on my hair. We have this look as your final, final look. This will last me a whole week and this basically just drops down and then it eventually becomes very, very, very loose waves. And that's how I tame my frizzy hair and style curtain bangs. Let me know if you have any questions.